Yo, what is going on guys? JC here. Welcome back to another terrain builder video. What we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to go over adding a custom texture. Uh, in, in our case, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a snow texture. So if you've been following along with this little series whatsoever, you'll know that whenever we go into bulldozer right now, our satellite image is set to show snow all over the ground, but our mask image is not. So I'm going to go over this one more time. The satellite image is what you see from a distance and what you see from the sky as where the mask image is the texture that's actually on the ground. So if we go into our YouTube map right now from the sky, everything is going to look like patches of snow, you know, or snow with like patches of grass. But once we zoom into the ground, it's actually going to be just all grass and we don't want that. We want it to be snow, you know, just for instance, say we're building a snow map. We want it to be snow everywhere. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you how to change this. So as you can see from the sky, um, it's all snow with like these little grass patches. But when we zoom in, it's just all grass in a radius around the character. And then as you move, the grass continues, but the satellite image stays, um, stays snow. Well, let's fix that. So let's get out of bulldozer. Um, this is what we have right now. This is our satellite image and then this is our mask image. So how do we how do we get a how do we get an image? All right. So what we're going to do is you're going to come over to your uh, wherever your your daisy is installed. What we're going to use is we're just going to use the Sakal snow for the time being. If you have a mod um, that adds modded textures or if you make your own texture, you're going to basically do this the same way. Um, but I don't have one of those readily available. So I'm just going to use this to call snow. So you're going to go wherever your, your daisy is installed. You're going to go to your steam, whoops, your steam apps. Uh, let's go to common. Let's come down here to daisy and we're going to open up our Sakal folder add-ons. And then as you can see, here's our add-ons. What we're going to be looking for is surfaces underscore Sakal. So what you would do is you would just right click and just copy this to your desktop. You don't want to move it. You just want to copy it. Once it's on your desktop, you're going to right click, you're going to open with, and then you're just going to extract all PBO types. You need Makiro's tools for this. If you've been following along with the series that we've done on YouTube, you should already have Makiro's tools. Uh, if you're just coming to this video and you haven't seen all of that and you don't have Makiro's tools, I will leave a link in the description on how to obtain that. But once you do, once you extract this, uh, it's just going to, it's just going to come here to your desktop. Inside this folder, you're going to have a DZ folder and then you have surfaces underscore Sakal and then this will have all of your terrains in it. Well, you're going to need to add this to your project drive because I don't know if you if you extract your tools with Makiro's tools like now or you extract your game data, you might have this, but I didn't have this. So I have to manually add all of my uh, Sakal assets. So you're going to go to your P drive. Uh, you're going to go to your DZ folder. And then you'll see this surfaces underscore blah, 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 underscore Sakal. Uh, I've already drugged mine over, but for tutorial purposes, I just wanted to show you how you would get that. So once you drag it over, you're going to come into this folder here and then you're going to see your terrain. And then these are all of the terrains that are included with uh, the Frostline DLC. But now we have to add this to our layers.config file. So let's just open up our P drive again in a new tab. I'm sorry. I meant new window. Uh, we're going to come down to our, our YouTube map. So we're going to come down to our map file. We're going to go into our source and then we're going to open up our layers.config file. So what we need to do is uh, let me, let's do this. Let's come like this and then let's grab our, this. We need to add a new layers. Uh, and we need to add a layer of what we have. So for this instance, um, we're just gonna just do just the regular snow. Uh, we're not gonna do go anything crazy like that. So it's un it's called Sakal underscore snow underscore CA. So let's copy this one here. And then um, we're gonna put it right here underneath. And then we're gonna change this to match what it's named in the files. So S-A-K-H-A-L underscore uh, snow. All right. Oh yeah. So call underscore snow. Now we need to change the texture. We need to call out this texture. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy his path and then we're going to change this path. When you do this, make sure you just delete the P drive and you just want it to say DZ uh, backslash surfaces to call backslash data, blah, blah, blah. You're going to do the same thing for the material. So you need to call out the RV mat file for whatever texture you're trying to get. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to do copy as path. We're going to come up here and we're just going to go bam, delete the P drive. And now we're good. So now we have our layer in. But now what we need is we need a colors for it. We need to be able to uh, to call out like the actual color code for that texture because that's how the mask is done. It's all based on color codes. So we want to rename this to Sokol Snow. And then this won't work because I mean, this is the same color code as the one right above. So now we need to go in and we need to get another color code. So open up your map in your favorite um, photo editor software. I've been using Krita. And what we're going to do is essentially right now, all of this yellow is grass and we want to make it white. Uh, if you remember from the tutorial video, this we, we turned this to be a rock color. So let's click this rock. And then I'm just going to invert the selection. So it's got everything else. And we're going to make a, a color ourselves. So we're going to make it like this white color right here. So what I want to do is I'm going to put this one to this side. And we're just going to copy these values. So this needs to be 219. This needs to be 210. And then this needs to be 197. And then we're just going to go ahead and hit save and we can close out of our layers.config file. We're going to hit OK. And then we're just going to fill this with the foreground color. Let's go ahead and deselect. So now, whoops, like this. So now if you look, we've got this is going to be our rock and then everything else is going to be just a snow texture in theory. Let's find out. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to export this as our mask. We're going to override it and then just minimize this for now. Let's come back into terrain builder and we're going to come to our image, our mask source, and we're just going to refresh the content from source. So now it changes it to look like so. These are our little buildings and stuff. So we've got snow everywhere and then we have just little patches of rock is what it's, it's, it, well, it's going to be like a rock texture. So. This looks good. Go ahead and hit save. And then we're going to come to our map frames. We're going to go to our properties and we need to basically export the new surface mask. So just, we don't need to do the satellite image, just the, the surface mask. Cause that's the only image that we've actually modified. So tick export surface mask and convert exported textures into PAA files. And then you're just going to hit generate layers. Now, Again, I've said this before, but depending on the complexity of your surface mask and um, and your PC is going to dictate how fast this goes. Typically, it's only going to take about a minute to a minute and a half. But if it's a super complex and it's a much bigger map, this is only a 10 by 10. Um, if this was to say like a 20 by 20 or, or something, you know, like a massive map, this process could take a lot longer. But for a 10 by 10 map, as you can see, it's taking, you know, about a minute and 15 seconds or so. But all you have to do is you just have to process a new surface mask and slap that into the game. Shouldn't take long, but sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. That's why I always recommend just hitting a save real quick before you do anything, um, because it, it could crash out. It could cause problems. You never know. So it doesn't take very long at all. So once it's going to do this, it's going to pull up a little command prompt. And the command prompt is basically just converting all of your files from PNGs to PAAs, as you can see right here. It goes fairly quick, depending on the size of the map, of course, is how many different layers you have. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and just hit save. And then we're going to go ahead and go into Bulldozer. Now, if we've done this correctly, which I believe we have, <laughs> um, from the sky, it's going to look like snow. And then as we get close to the ground, it's going to it's going to mimic snow again. Like it's it's going to be snow. So we come from the sky. As you can still see, we have the grass patches because that's what our satellite image shows. But now as we approach the ground, 
it's all snow everything is a snow texture the only thing that's not going to be a snow texture is let's come over here oops let's go to our our terrain builder come over here to these big rock patches if we come in as you can see this is our rock texture mixed in with the little with the little snow got these little grass patches in here um this like i said is this is going to be fine tuning all right this is all going to be fine tuning your satellite image getting every pixel correct but for the most part um everything is snow everything is snow so these little these little grass patches and these little uh these little just tiny little rock and grass patches all this is is you needing to come in here and you see how like this color is different you need to fine tune your satellite image it's all done by little squares just you just got to fine tune it that's that's really all this is you want to make everything this color everything um or you know you want to make everything a, a different texture color it is what it's ba all based on your color codes but that's why if we look in in uh in our bulldozer we have a little bit different textures here and that's just because those squares aren't the exact color everything that is in your layers.cfg in those color selection that's what controls the you know the, the texture on the ground and that's really it um if we wanted our satellite image to mimic this and we didn't want to have you know like these little grass patches all we would need to do is come here oh wrong program we need to come into here let's uh enable our satellite image and then basically all of this crap here we would just need to paint it white all of this this all just kind of needs to be just white instead of having these grass patches but i'm not doing that in this tutorial this tutorial was basically how to add a snow texture to your map or any sort of um any sort of you know additional texture whether that be snow whether that be a modded rock texture whether that be um a modded type grass texture whatever you've whatever your heart desires that's how you do it all it takes is you to go in there and adding it to your layers.cfg and just redoing your mask so i really hope this video helped um i hope hopefully it helped shed some sort of light on um on how to change these textures and how to add these textures into the game again like i said all you need to do is come into your layers.cfg add yourself a color code which can literally be any we can make this black if we want this can be any color we want as long as you have the same texture of what it's called up here and it matches what it's called down here and that's how you do it so hopefully this video helped uh, if it did a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated subscribe if you guys haven't already um, and then we're going to just continue on this terrain uh, builder series and just keep giving you little tips and tricks as we go so again i'm really bad at the goodbyes hope you guys enjoyed and i look forward to uh i look forward to seeing the maps you guys come up with and put out and stuff it's gonna be really fun it's gonna be great all right love you bye